welcome to the Blue Mountains. Uh, we're just driven here. Today it took us about seven hours. It's bloody windy. Uh, you can see it out there behind me. We're just going to try and find somewhere to set up camp tonight. And hopefully this weather improves tomorrow. So we're out here for about ten days or so. We're going to explore a few different areas and see what we can see. We spent our first night at Murphy's Glen Campground, which is a free national park campground. It's not too far off the Great Western Highway behind the town of Woodford. Alright, so recovery number one of the trip done. Thankfully it wasn't us. Uh, even though this road says um, four, drives only. four drives only. Guy tried to take his Commodore down and couldn't get it back out. So we had to give him a tow up the hill. He had no recovery gear, no recovery points. All he had was a tow ball and I definitely did not want to pull off that, but that was all I could do. Uh, it wasn't one of those ones you could take off and put it through the pin either. So I just uh, first gear low range and idled out so minimal stress and had a couple of uh, dampeners on. And he didn't really need much of a pull so that's just what we had to do. But got him out pretty easy. It's so dusty out here today. It's dust everywhere. Hasn't rained here in probably two or three months. Bye bye guys. We spent day two checking out the local tourist attractions. The first stop was Wentworth Falls. If you're keen to go for a bit of a walk, then it's definitely worth the walk down to the bottom of the waterfall. Pretty steep steps. Right on the side of the mountain. These steps just keep going and going. I'd say we're gonna have a look. I think we're gonna have a long walk out of here. Kai wants to keep going. Spot. It's going to be a long walk out. Next stop was the Three Sisters, but there was a lot of people there. <laughs> we went for a walk down to the base of the Three Sisters. There were so many people, so we decided to get out of there, and we came back later in the afternoon. Sky rail up there. Yeah. We're hopefully going to go on that tomorrow. 
where we are, probably. Check out the view. We're pretty sure we're gonna go on it. Yeah, pretty sure. We got the view of the mountains out there. Mm -hmm. And we got a waterfall over here. That is Katoomba Falls. Hey Kai, how many stairs do you reckon we've walked up today? 60. 60,000? 60, yeah. Did you have a fun day today? Oh yeah, can we? It's getting pretty cold now. Let's go. Come on, camera. Let's go back to camp. Yep. We're going to have a race. Go. Night two. We camped at Katoomba Falls Tourist Park. It's a nice spot. Got hot showers there and it's close to everything which is what we wanted so we're able to go check out the three sisters late in the afternoon. The next morning we got up early and headed off to Scenic World. We got to go on some pretty awesome rides which you could see all over the valleys. You could see the three sisters and see Katoomba Falls. Trains coming back up, less than two minutes to wait. <laughs> Look at this car, you get to choose what seat you want to go. So you can either go cliffhanger, which is like really steep, or original, which is in the middle, or laid back, which is not very steep. I'm going to choose that one. The steepest one? Yeah. Good idea. Are you ready? Wow, these two are really like... Oh my god! That's the train, that's where the train station is. After we finished up at Scenic World, we started making our way west towards the Cox's River and the Six Foot Track which would eventually take us through to Janolan Caves. Oh, wow. So cold. That's where we're going. The six foot track. The roads into the six foot track camping area from the Katoomba end, they're just basic dirt roads. You wouldn't even really need a four wheel drive to travel on them. When we got to the camp area, the first thing we did is go on the walk out to the swinging bridge. From memory, the walk is, I think it's only about a kilometre, so it's not too far. Definitely worth it. Awesome spot. Six foot track swinging bridge. That's uh, a big bridge. One person at a time. 
Kai thinks it's a trampoline. This would probably be the biggest swinging bridge we've been on. We've been on a few now. Okay, stop swinging it. Because you're crazy. Are you scared on the swinging bridge? Well, well, I just saw it on a video, kind of. Yeah, saw it on a video. It's a long way down. Yeah. Oh. We're nearly out in the middle, whoa! We decided to walk back along the river, which was much more fun than the track. Go jump. So this is the Cox River six foot track campsite. It's a nice spot, but you're not allowed to take your vehicle into the campsite, and you're also not allowed fires here. So we camped in the car park. Six foot track. I think the whole thing's about 45 kilometers. Starts at up near Katoomba, and then this is all walking singular track. And we're camped here at the moment. But I've been told that you can drive the rest of the track out out to Janolan Cave, so that's where we're heading today. So I was trying to roll up my swag and I'll show you what Bed. I don't even know where he's going, so I just have to keep rolling until I find him. Oh, oh there it is. Alright, yeah, yeah. uh, get off. Put it under a nice little tree because it's raining. Return the spider to its home on the tree. I think an ant about to eat it, do you? Oh, hope not. What do you oh, think? there's an ant running past. Not the best weather today. It's pretty wet. So, left camp. Um, now, that's the way we came from yesterday out there. this other way out to Janolan Caves which is where we want to go and on the map it says you can't get through but then we spoke to another four-wheel driver last night who came through that way and said you can get through so we're going to head out that way
Black Range Trail. Yep, Black Range Trail. Good view out over the mountains. The six foot track is predominantly a walking track. So make sure you watch out for walkers because we passed plenty. From the six foot track camping area, you can make it all the way out to Janolan Caves Road. You would need a four wheel drive for this track, but it's pretty easy. Nothing, nothing too hard, nothing that you really need a modified four wheel drive for.